Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do my wrap up for the week of March the 5th to March the 11th. This week I read a total of three books and a collective total of 868 pages, which was pretty fantastic. And I also read a few books that have been sitting on my shelves for a while that I've been meaning to get to. So let's get straight into them. The first book that I read this month was Storm and Grace by Catherine Heyman, which was sent to me in a Goodreads giveaway. This is the story of Grace Kane, who is a university student in Sydney. She is asked by her roommate to interview the world famous freediver Storm Hisray, who holds the record as being the deepest freediver in the world. The two have an instant connection and Grace finds herself moving to his island to spend more time with him and to learn all about the world of freediving. She's someone who's always loved the water and loves being in the water and slowly their relationship deepens and she becomes embroiled in his world and Storm teaches her how to freedive and pushes her and pushes her to dive deeper and deeper and push her boundaries. This is a really interesting story because first of all it's a very claustrophobic book to read. I don't know about anyone else, I'm terrified of drowning and that's like my fear and this book is all about people who go to dive to our unimaginable depths on one single breath. So there's a huge element of claustrophobia in this book. There is also elements of a very abusive relationship. It's not your out and out violent relationship. It is mind games and again that sense of claustrophobia. So I mean be aware of that going into it. It is a bit of a thriller. You know the whole way through the book that something terrible is going to happen. There's that feeling that just weighs down on you as you're reading. It was really interesting to read something like that because it kept the suspense up from the first page and it didn't let go and you sort of have to keep reading just to find out what happens. Also the narrators of this story are sirens which I think is truly fascinating and a really interesting read. I gave Storm and Grace 4 out of 5 stars. Great thriller if that's something that you're looking for. The next book that I read was Burial Rights by Hannah Kent, which I think is a book that needs no introduction here on Booktube. It is the story of the last woman executed in Iceland. Agnes has been condemned to death for her part in the murder of two men, and while she's waiting for that sentence to be carried out, she is sent to live on a farm with a family who don't want her there. Mostly this family ignore Agnes, trying not to communicate with her initially, and the only conversations that she has is with a young priest who she has requested to help her through her last days. It's hard to describe this one. It was a really interesting read. I think Iceland really felt like a place to me. I've never been there so I, I don't know how true or accurate it is but there was this sense that you were there and that was truly truly wonderful to read about despite the the sad subject matter. I liked the element of mystery in the background as you try and unravel what has happened to get Agnes to this spot and who all the players are and how they all interrelate and ultimately this was just a really moving book, one that I enjoyed reading but it's not an easy read. It, a little bit heavy so be aware of that if you go into it. I gave this one 4 out of 5 stars. The last book that I read this month was Stardust by Neil Gaiman which is part of my quest to read more Neil Gaiman this year and I love the film Stardust so I thought I'm going to start with this book because it's not very long it's quite a short Neil Gaiman book and I really enjoyed it. I love the story of Tristan and Yvain and how they meet and this whole world of wall and the fairy world that lives beyond the wall. It moves quite quickly obviously being a short book so it's not one of those fantasy books that goes hugely into detail about every little thing. You sort of get told a little bit about something, you meet, up, meet characters and then we move on to the next part of the story which made for a really nice change in fantasy to not just dwell on one particular aspect. I gave Stardust 4.5 out of 5 stars, highly enjoyed it. I also started reading Lady Helen and the Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. I'm only about 70 pages into that at the moment so I won't even talk too much about it but hopefully I will finish that for next week's wrap up. I'm definitely enjoying it. That is everything that I read this week. It was a good reading week. Let me know down in the comments what are you currently reading? Are you enjoying it? Are you not enjoying it? Why or why not? I'd love to know. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're having a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!